Okay, sorry about that, guys. We, uh, I upgraded from the third world to the second world, it seems. But <laughs> got after restarting my router, uh, looks like we're back um, in business, although the X-Mage kicked us out of our game, so I can't... Um, sadly, we had a really good match going, and I, couldn't, I can't finish it. Uh, but I got a, a new opponent on deck here. Thank you, uh, Lord Sally, for... For facing me earlier, um, there could have been anyone's anyone's match there. I think. Looks like my opponent, my opponent is Sensei Dora, and he's running Tajik Legion's Edge. So an actual Boros deck for a change. Uh, three two haste for three mana. With Mentor, prevent all non combat damage will be dealt to other creatures you control. That is actually pretty relevant against Judith. Um, and then he can pay red and white to get first strike so that could be pretty annoying let me just update my uh opponent's deck list here and we'll get get rolling i'm running judith again by the way all right Ooh, blood moon is not great against boros i'm gonna mulligan this hand five lands a blood moon and a greater gargadon just not enough action Hopefully, let's see here. This looks better. Oh, Bomat Courier. I don't know if I like that on the draw. Hmm. I think you can do better than that. If I could, if if it was, if I was on, or sorry, on the play, if I was on the draw, I would keep that for sure. All right, doesn't really matter here. Okay, I gotta make sure my chat does it. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just making sure my everything's back fixed here. Um, Xander asked where am I based? Oh, he has Bomat Courier. Not fair. I'm based in Albania. Albania, Europe, between uh, right north of Greece and across from Italy. Whoa. I don't like any of these things. Looks like I just have Rift Bolt, though. This is, uh, man, it's amazing how, how much of a control deck Judith, Judith ends up being. Because, like, I'm just, like, never... I'm, I guess, fair enough, like, I'm playing a bunch of aggro decks, but, like, I'm not even... The last, the last deck wasn't even really an aggro deck. Demonic Tutor. All right. Um, I guess I just play Judith because I can't play M plus Tutor. Uh, Hellspark Elemental doesn't even seem very effective right now, so I'll just play Judith. She can still stop the the Bomat Courier from attacking. Although he's gonna have Tajik, I guess. Well, whatever. Um. attack. I don't really want my Kite Cell Freebooter to die. I guess that might be a slight problem when you're playing Judith. Not wanting a creature to die. Thalia. Alright. It's annoying. These first strike I these first strike creatures are like really annoying. I think I'm going to let that thing go. I really would like to get, like, Goblin Bombardment going or something like that. I can actually Demonic Tutor for the Goblin Bombardment. 
But there's probably, I mean, there might be something even better. I don't know. I think I think I I, I want to tutor for something here. Hey, okay, creatures coming to play tapped. Hmm. Really would like a sack outlet, or like a creature with flying to keep the pressure on. Like spawn of mayhem would be pretty good. Um. Something that if it dies, I can just unearth. I guess I really should have blocked the Judith. I forgot, I forgot about the unearth in my hand. Oh well. Um, Smuggler's Copter. Colgon's Command is nice, but I, I mean, I would like something I could play this turn ideally. Kari Zeb's okay. Greater Gargadon is kind of tempting. Hmm. Mog Fanatic's kind of tempting. I could I could actually get Mog Fanatic, sack it, kill these two, and and then re unearth it and sack and then kill Thalia. That seems pretty good. Where is where is Mog Fantastic? There it is. I don't know. Didn't think about it too hard. So let's kill the Momat Courier. Kill the Pyromancer. And then This is this also um This also helps because if he plays Tajik, then Tajik's not going to have anyone to mentor on, and that ability is not going to do anything. So, and it gets to attack in for four. So, kind of have the initiative back. Lath New Hellion. This card is. N Can this do anything on defense? It's not very good on defense. Incendiary Flow. What is he targeting? The Judith. Well, unless I got some value off of Judith uh, the turn before. Okay, Dauntless Bodyguard. Pretty good. Ooh, I can actually play out my whole hand here. Keep the pressure on. He's only got one card left in his hand, Loth New Hellion. All right, I'm figuring things out. And then if I draw, if I draw any land, I can um, play Judith. Next turn, there comes Tajik and Kithian. Should be able to like attack with gutter bones at least. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt's good. <laughs> Got one card in hand. The Dauntless Bodyguard actually cannot save anything because it came down kind of by itself. That's interesting. The problem with killing Tajik is if you draw a land, you can just replay it and it has haste. Hmm. And I don't mind if Gutter Bones gets blocked. I have Hellspark Elemental too. If I if I reanimate Hellspark Elemental, attack with everything that's five, six, seven. If he doesn't block anything, I can just kill him with lightning bolt. Yeah, that seems pretty good. This gives me a chance to win right now. 
And I actually could leave like pilfering him back because let's see, he blocks gutter bones, takes three. Right, if he doesn't block, if he doesn't block gutter bones, he takes three, four, five, six, seven. I only really need to deal six. So if I leave this one back, I protect myself on the backswing. And if he does block gutter bones, it wouldn't have been enough anyway. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So seems like the play. What did I get with Freebooter? Oh, yeah, Rift Bolt. Don't want him getting that back. He is going to block the gutter bones. So he's got Lath New Hellion, but he doesn't have enough to kill me because I could chump the Hellion, right? The Hellion has haste, but it's just a 4-4. Four, four. Hmm. Kind of want to save this bolt for his face because I can go two flying. No, I'm not going to be able to do that. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I guess I kind of wish I had attacked with Pilfering Imp after all. Did not think he was going to block with Kithian, actually. I'm just going to play it safe here, I think. And I can also get that Hellion out of his hand with Pilfering Imp. Then I take... Then I take six and I can only get him down to, I can't, I don't, it's not enough. He's, he's at one life too many. Shit. How many times can this attack? Two. That's problematic. All right, I think I think the best play is just to sack the pil pilfering imp instead of chump blocking. If I had one more mana and I could get gutter bones back and play it, I would. But it's not really a possibility right now. So I'm hoping I draw some more burn. Basically, that's <laughs> what this boils down to. I was really hoping he, oh, arc trail. Brutal. That was a good top deck. That would have been even worse for me if I didn't sack the pilfering imp. All right. Need to draw burn. Real bad. Because if I don't draw burn, I'm just dead. Blood artist. Not quite. Yep, that's game. Damn, I think if, I feel like I could have played that differently somehow. All right, this looks pretty good. Maybe I can get get some initiative here and be the beatdown. Uh, I think I want to play Goblin Guide turn one. Yeah, let's do that. Get the most damage in. Gave him a land, but he might have to discard to hand size. Probably not if he has a one drop. Yeah, he's only got a one drop. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna hold off on the Mog Fanatic use till I get Judith out. Well then, yeah, because he still won't, he still won't have Tajik out at that point. So I can play Mog Fanatic this turn, but not use it. Well, actually, let me just let's just see if he if he blocks. I'm kind of okay if he blocks here. Mother of Runes.
Who's the beat down? All right, didn't block, good. All right, Pilfering Imp plus Mog Fanatic. Depending on what he does now, can either play Judith or him to Tarak him. I like Mother of Runes. Straight up into my Mog Fanatic. Do you have like another protection spell? Because this is kind of silly. You don't. Ooh, living death. Misclick. Apparently my opponent misclicked. All right, we're gonna keep playing. Uh, da, 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 da. Badlands. All right, let's play Judith, take up both of his creatures, the Mog Fanatic. That's a pretty strong turn. I only got a City of Brass off of the Goblin Guide. It's already at 11. All right, cracking. Lightning Helix on Judith. Mm, that stinks. I actually wonder if I should just let her die because I could play Living Death. And then once these two come back, I can use the Mog Fanatic again. I'm going to let her die. Strange as that seems. All right. So now I play either Crater Maker or him to Turok. I think I want to wait on the him to Turok. This also sets me up a little bit. Um, Jackal Pup. Wow, we have two really aggressive decks here. This sets me up a little bit better for Living Death. Jackal Pup, I would not mind if you play... Oh, Gideon. Do not like that. Do not like that. He's got much he's got more of a high end than I do, it seems. Frexian Tower, okay. If I knew I was drawing that, I wish I would have used Goblin Crater Maker at the end of his turn, but did not know I was drawing that. Still can Searing Spear, Let's see if I Searing Spear his face, he goes to five, then he blocks one, goes to two, it's not quite enough. So I'm kind of tempted to just kill Gideon here. On the other hand, if I him to Turok him and he discards creatures, that kind of sucks for living death. Hmm. Alternatively, I, you know, I can't quite crater maker the token and then swing with these things. Yeah, I think I just Searing Spear the token, kill Gideon, attack him for one, and then him to Turok. But let's just him to Turok first. What do we discard? Wasteland and Jackal Pup. Okay. Not sure if that was right, but we'll go with it. 
Gideon down. A lot of mana, kind of a lot of cards in hand too compared to me. Here comes Tajik. The nice thing about Tajik is I can kill it with Crater Maker. Well, not anymore. It's going to six. Really would like to. Kind of has to leave Tajik back, I would think. All right. Um, I don't know. It's pretty good too. Pretty sure I can kill him this turn. Can sack Goblin Guide. To Phyrexian Tower. He must want to block. If he if he if he played Tajik and didn't attack, he must want to block with it. And he's probably gonna put it back to the command zone. So with that all being said, I think I want to attack with both, see what he does. And then I can living death, whichever with everyone whichever one survives, I can living death off of the Phyrexian Tower. Don't really have any other haste creatures anyway. Did give him a land. Okay. All right, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. He uh, blocked with Tajik and Goblin Guy died, so. The Living Death. And then I can, if I want to, I can destroy two things with Mog Fanatic. Definitely want to get Mother of Runes. <laughs> I guess I'll get the Jackal Pup. Yeah, oh, the Jackal Pup might take more damage, so I'll, I'll get the Elite, Elite Vanguard. All right. All right. This is this seems pretty strong. I like where things are at. Abbott, when when to play your land first? I guess he saw he scried something. Oh, Rift Bolt. Okay. He's gonna Rift Bolt Judith. Oh, collect a Defiance. It's, a, it's fine, I guess. He's not going to get value off the Abbot. Wait. What? He's killing himself. Okay. <laughs> killing his own Jackal Pup for the Seppuku. Ooh. This hand would be pretty awesome if I had another land. I really love these Unearth cards in the stack, like Claim to Fame. Unearth, reanimate. Okay. All right, I'll keep Bulimet Courier on the draw, I think. There's a chance I can squeak in. Squeak in with it. Zergo. No, not Zergo. It's like the worst thing. Kind of unfortunate. But eh, I can always sack it to like spawning pit or something later. Ash salad. All right. Definitely on the back foot. Definitely on the back foot this game. And I wish he had some one toughness things. But Footlight Fiend. Okay. I kind of like that because I can block Zergo and then finish it off. Pretty pretty happy doing that. Um, don't think there's any reason not to attack with Bomat Courier. Although he could mentor the Zergo with Tajik, but 
Taja could die to Footlight Fiend, so. Yeah, let's just play Footlight Fiend and pass. Dauntless Bodyguard. Okay, I think he's probably missing some land drops. Jackal Pup, all right. Now I'm kind of wanting to save my Footlight Fiend. Yeah, I'm going to save my Footlight Fiend because I can take out two creatures probably. Goblin Guide, okay. I can play Judith, but the problem is... Yeah, no, Judith's still got to be the best here. Chosen creatures, Ash sell it. Full Life Fiend can take out three of his creatures right now. Technically. Maybe even four. Wow, he's just going balls to the wall here. Um, yeah. It's pretty clear, like, block... Zergo, block one of these. And then when Footlight Fiend dies, it can take out Jackal Pup and Stromkirk Noble, I guess. Hmm. I think that's probably what I want to do, although it leaves Ash Cell it alive, but I can take that out with Colagon's command. Hmm. I guess I left one damage on the table here. Oh well. Dark Confidant. Um. I almost kind of like want to Colagon's command, get back Footlight Fiend. This that card's pretty strong right now. Kill Ash sell it. Doesn't have any artifacts. Yeah. Then I can actually block at I could block something if you had a haste. Or I could just start cracking in with like goblin guide, but then Tajik comes out. Don't want don't really want Tajik to start going off. Let's get a Badlands. Um, so let's do two damage to that and two damage to Ash, Ash Zealot and let's get Footlight Fiend back. I'm starting to pull ahead here because of his mana screw. I'm pretty, this is pretty impressive uh, showing by Footlight Fiend, I will say. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thalia is annoying. Kind of stone brick walling me right now. Although I could attack with Footlight Fiend anyway because. What's he gonna do? It trades with Thalia. Yeah, that seems good. He's probably not going to do anything, and then I can, like, post-combat sack to Spawning Pit. Yeah, that seems fine. So Spawning Pit... 
two mana artifact can sack creature put a charge counter in it. Pay one, remove two charge counters from it to put a two two artifact creature into play. Take out Thalia. The value. Let's play Confidant. And I think I'm going to leave up the one just in case I want to use Spawning Pit, depending on what he has. Because Goblin Guide is haste anyway. Last New Hellion. Yeah, this seems... Fine. Definitely don't want to take this damage, so block with a confidant, which I kind of was kind of be risky to do anything with him anyway. I guess if I block with confidant, I might as well just finish off the last new hellion instead of uh, sacking it to the spawning pit. So I don't want to have to deal with that for another turn. <laughs> Living death. Ooh, he's a lot of creatures. More than me, I pretty much guarantee that, yeah. All right, well, let's play Goblin Guide. And then attack for... I guess I can try to start racing Tajik at this point. I could even sack a creature Spawning pit. Swords of plowshares. Ooh. Don't love that. If he tries to play Tajik, I can sack a creature for a spawn. And then block Tajik. He's got the swords though. Hmm. This is really interesting. Yeah, cause I think if he didn't have if I if I if he didn't have the swords, I think it would I would definitely sack creature and then make a spawn. But I can actually just straight up kill him by sacking both of my creatures next turn. The only way this is a downside is if he has like lightning bolt exactly with his last card. <coughs> Swordsing, Swordsing Judith. Um, I guess that's fine. I'll just like recast her. This also gains me two life. Kari Zev. Hmm. You think I just play Judith again and bash? He goes to four. And the next turn I can just kind of kill him. Arc trail. Ugh, vomit. You don't like to see that. So there's arc trail and a mystery card in his hand. Arc Trail is very good against me. I probably mm, I probably screwed up last turn. I probably should have um, sacked Judith to the spawning pit, even though I would have lost to two life. Probably would have been better. I think he can get me to to like one. Like I definitely can't definitely can't let this hit me now. But he's going to lose his creature unless he gives it first strike. Let's see what he does. Giving it first strike. All right. Um
I'm going to let her die. Because I have living death. Uh, I can living death Judith back and then I have spawning pit to just sacrifice my whole board and kill him. So seems fine. I really like Spawning Pit. I love these sack outlets. They're just really strong. Two to one. I don't think anything of his really matters. Like, like if I play this Living Death. Just get back a ton of creatures and then nug them. It's sort of Tajik. Not that it really matters. Man, Living Death is such a powerhouse. All right. Um, <laughs> how do we want to do this? Judas has just a ton of reach. It's insane. Game. All right. Cool. Judith takes it down against Tajik. Legion's Edge. We're going to play another one. Still a little like out of sorts after that disconnect. These games are pretty cool, I think, with Judith. They're pretty like. Uh, pretty reasonable. Like, they don't feel like too unfair. <laughs> Of course, I'm saying that is the victor last round, but now we have the Getrog monster. Mwah. Three green black for 6-6 six, six frog horror with death touch. Being your upkeep sacrifice. The Getrog monster, unless you sacrifice a land, you can play an additional land, and whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, draw a card. Let me update my thing. Thingy? Okay. Um, this hand seems fine. Yeah, I'll keep it. Uh, I just hope he doesn't have Toxic Deluge, I guess. Or if he does, his life total is low enough that it doesn't matter. Exploration. Nasty. Try to get a few hits with Bomat Courier in here. Um, hope he doesn't have Wasteland. I'm just going to go for the Badlands. <coughs> Get Rog is a scary deck. Especially when they go first and they already have two lands in play on the first turn. Alright. Could be seeing a turn three Get Rog fairly easily here. Oh yeah. I don't really have a good answer to that either. I can't even kill it with Brimstone Volley. <laughs> really kind of weak options. I guess I can kill it with Brimstone Volley in combination with like suiciding a creature into him. And he gets a free land. How nice. Oof, Goblin Guide is definitely problematic. Problematic card when they get to draw extra lands and they have exploration out. Under Realm Lish. Yikes. Leaving Ash Barons untapped. Okay. Interesting. 
I love the unhinged plus Zendikar full art combo. Um, I think this gets around. Yeah, this gets around indestructible. I'm kind of all in on this living death plan now. Sadly, I can't really sack Bomet Crayer first. That would be pretty sweet. I'm not really sure what he's doing. Oh, my internet didn't go out. It's going to be a long time till I get to living death mana. Pithing Needle. Oh, that doesn't really do much. Oh, shit. No, I forgot to crack my fetch in response. Uh, oh, he didn't. He didn't use my fetch. Whew. Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Just, just guessing. Interesting. Interesting choice. If I were him, I probably would have said Bomet Courier or Verdict Catacombs. But who am I to judge? So. Not really. He has too much life where I just getting him to pay for life to, to tap this really does a whole lot. Although if I brimst if I if I brimstone volley it, it's effectively f seven damage worth, and maybe I can just kind of cheese him out from there. Seems okay. Because I'm not really going to be able to... I, this gets in a decent amount of damage that I wouldn't normally be able to get in otherwise. Yeah. <coughs> I think I'll just... Um, I'll force him to tap his Underrealm Lish if he wants to keep it. I really like that they put the tap it clause on under under realm lish really makes it feel more reasonable Ugh, keep getting him lands with goblin guide it's so bad is there an orb okay i'm fucked <laughs> that's game over there's no way I can beat that card. My only hope was to like... Hope that I can just squeak in the last few points of damage, but I can sack any land to gain two life and draw a card. I'll keep playing it because... I'm a masochist. But it's, and because I have living death in my hand could do stuff. God, every card he gets to draw, he gets to look at... Uh, am I just dead here? Hmm. Oh, as long as he keeps hitting lands... He can keep doing this. It's not like technically infinite, but it should be infinite. As long as he can hit like a stretch of like two two lands every time he, he hits. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> oh goodness. Only got 37 cards left in his deck, 17 in hand. Wow, insane. Corsair of Crufix. I'm not exact. I'm not exactly sure if I remember like what else he has to like um, kill me with here this turn. I'm just kind of curious. I'm just gonna let him let him 
dink around. Either way, it's very little chance. I guess if I draw like exactly Phyrexian Tower or something like that, <coughs> I think I'm screwed. He's gonna be able to recast Gitrog. I've got Life from the Loam now. Emra Cool. I wish there was a better way that X Mage kept track of the uh, like land plays. Okay, squander resources. That should be game. So now, all right. I'm gonna concede. All right, let's go to game two. I gotta prevent, I gotta prevent that from happening. Being on the play helps. All right. The cards just seem to feel so weak compared to his. But what are you gonna do? I'm trying to think what what I have in my deck that really hoses get rog. Like a demonic tutor for. Maze of Ith, turn one. Ooh, Goblin Rabble Master is nice. I guess this means his mana development is a lot more crunched. Let me just take a quick look at my list. I guess I got like Magus the Moon would be pretty strong. The problem with Magus of the Moon is that it turns... He's is, he is running a lot of basics, and it turns Maze of Ith back into uh, mana-producing land. <coughs> I'm not even sure I want that. Maybe I'll just wait on the Demonic Tutor to see better see what he has. There's a good chance I just Demonic Tutor for, like, Wasteland anyway. But I think for now, let's just try to draw some cards here. Okay, Duress is good. Dark Ritual. Dark, you're transmuting Shred Memory off of a Dark Ritual? For Squander Resources, okay. Well, now I really want to just run out this Duress. And then probably play Demonic Tutor. Fatal push, that's good to know. And a fetch land. So my Rebel Master's in trouble, but I feel like if I take... <coughs> I'm not sure what he can do with squandered resources just yet. Like, he can play it. I almost would rather take the Fatal push so he can't get my Goblin Rebel Master. Is that crazy? Actually, and now that it's well, Ash Barons is a really good counter to like Blood Moon. But Yeah, I'm gonna take the fatal push, as crazy as that sounds. Even though I tutored for squandered resources. 
And let's see, what can I get here? This demonic tutor. Uh, four drop. I guess I just get like wasteland. Because I kind of want to just play Goblin Rabble Master next turn. Maybe I waste his Maze of Ith or something like that. Don't have like Mind Twist. Mind Twist would be a good one, but don't run it in this deck. Let's get Wasteland. Sick of thinking. Seasons Past is interesting. No. Damn it. I can take the Rabble Master, yeah. All right, now I'm left with just Judith. However, I can reanimate. I can reanimate my Rabble Master. Yeah, let's do that. And actually, I almost just want to like play Judith and Rabble Master. Yeah, that seems better. Because then I can um, Wasteland the Maze of it next turn when the Rabble Master might be able to attack. Not really doing much. He's not going to be able to play Get Rog. Quite like Reanimate. Should be able to get him for a ton of damage next turn. Not really sure what he's going to do about it. Squander resource isn't going to help. Did not did not do the Ash Barons thing yet, interestingly. There's squander resources. Sure. Ooh, Colligon's Command. Not exactly what I wanted, but... I don't think I need to use Colligon's command yet. And let's put this in the Rabble Master, I think. Yeah. All right, that's a lot of damage. I don't even know how many damage that is. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm pretty close to just killing him with Goblin Bombardment. I got four plus two more for Col from Colagon's command. Be enough to kill him. All right, let's go to game three. Quite glad I got the wasteland there off of the uh, demonic tutor. I wasn't sure about that. All right, this hand looks fine. Don't want. I don't really want fire covenant against him. Turn one, we have Pilfering Imp. Turn two, Loyal Apprentice. Or Mesmeric Fiend, more likely, potentially. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I feel about this Pilfering Imp, but it's been okay. The fact that it's a flyer is really nice. All right. Ooh, two turns up. Two turns off from playing Gitrog. Kind of like just playing Mesmeric Fiend now and disrupting what, what's going on there. If I had another one mana player, I probably would play Light Up the Stage. But I think this is going to be a little more effective. Oh, yeah. Scape Shift? Jesus. Um. 
I don't know why if I should really be that worried about skate shift. I mean, it's probably ridiculous to even say that, but yeah, I think more could go wrong with skate shift. Even though, like, obviously, Kodama's reach is a better play for him next turn. Still gonna do that. <laughs> And we got the we got the slow hand here with the one power things. Yeah, turn away for him getting Gitrog off, and no real reason to like. Yeah, if I if I waste this Woodland Cemetery, he still could play Gitrog because of this Emerald Medallion. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense. I think it's just better to play Judith here. Um, attack. Alternatively, I could play Light Up the Stage plus Loyal Apprentice. That seems pretty good. And then I could play Judith next turn. Slightly more effective, I think. I'm really not doing enough damage. But as it stands, he's just going to play a giant Gitrog and have a bunch of lands, so. All right, we got Fireblade Artist and Lightning Strike. Both of which make more sense to play next turn. But, ugh, awkward. I don't want to, like, not play something and then get up, give up that value. So I guess I'll play Fireblade Artist now, and then next turn I can go Lightning Strike plus Loyal Apprentice. Yeah, that kind of came out in a weird order. Here's the Git Rog. I'm able to draw a lot of cards. Got two fetch lands in the bank. I don't think I have a good enough way to deal 15 damage fast enough, unfortunately. Bloodstock champion. This is not ideal. <laughs> but if I play Judith, well I can almost I can't I can't justify this turn, but like next turn I can justify attacking with Fireblade Artist into Get Raw because I can finish it off with the lightning well Fuck. Gotta use this lightning strike now or it just goes away. So that being said, I think the play is Lightning Strike is face. And then play Loyal Apprentice. And try to try to get some damage in the air with Judith next turn. It's not ideal. Don't want to kill the Dryad Arbor because he just draws a card. Yeah, that light of the stage kind of screwed up my whole, like, sequencing, <laughs> fortunately. But I think I needed to play, I think I needed to play to kind of preserve this, this value here. I'd be really vulnerable to, like, sweeper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is not looking good. I guess it's kind of nice that his, every time he does, uses a fetch line, he takes a damage. And that definitely adds up with Judith. Life from the Loam. All right. I'm not too scared about that. That's just... What does he have, actually? 
I kind of missed it. Terramorphic, Misty Rainforest. Ooh, Dark Petition. Okay, that's bad. Now, now the Toxic Deluge happens. Oh, God. Our Glacial Chasm. Okay, well, I do have this Wasteland that he does not know about. Crucible. I'm going to have to deal him 10 damage in, in one turn, basically. I'm very, very lucky he that I have this Wasteland that I didn't show him earlier. What is happening? Oh, he's just discarding the hand size and they're all he's pitching lands this time to draw extra cards. Wow. That's insane. Finally didn't. Alright, now I gotta do some math. So <sighs> I guess I want to sack this. No, he, it prevents all damage. I'll be able to him, so I can't do anything yet. Okay, that sucks. Thoughtsies. Okay. So I got Judith. Bunch of attacks. And wasteland. Play Judith. All right, let's just. There's not. There's not really anything I can really do. So I'm just gonna turn all my creatures sideways and see what happens. And <laughs> he says, "Good game." All right. I assume that'll be enough. Let's see. He blocks. The biggest thing he can block is a three power. This is one that goes, puts him to nine. Seven, five. Yeah. Wow. Just enough to kill him. <laughs> Crazy. That was insane. Because <laughs> he. He couldn't let it through, but he, he had to block. But he, if he blocked, he went to one. And then the Judas ability did him in. That really was quite a, quite a game. <laughs> no, that was not a top deck, actually. All right. Uh, it's been two hours. And I know the first one kind of got messed up, but... Um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up there just a reminder uh once again guys if you missed the first part of the stream um you only got a couple days left to sign up for the the x mage double elimination february tournament on challenge and there's a link to that in the stream description um here's an example of the brackets from last Last time we got 12 players, which was great. Um, but so far we only have, I think, six people registered. We only have like three more days. So the deadline is Wednesday, uh, February 6th, I believe, at 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, Central European time. So get in there and register. All, all the details are in that link that I have in the, in the video description. And, yeah, it's a ton of fun, and we get some tiny little – prizes mostly it's pride but we're gonna post we're gonna post the winning deck list to mtgtop8.com um we do that every time and then i have some discord flair too for uh people in, in the dual commander discord um let's see if the one yeah so the one the one from january got posted so if you want to see uh hello newton's grenzo deck or <clears throat> martin's aka zakopsi <coughs> If you want to see his Najila deck, just go to mtgtop8.com and click on the little commander button, and you can see that. All right. 
that'll be it guys i'm gonna i'll see you next week hopefully you don't have another internet interruption but i think other than that it looks pretty smooth so um yeah take care and see you later